Now, uh, this is the this is the polar form, huh? Six bracket cosine two pi over three plus i sine two pi over three, huh? Right. Now, the first thing we need to do now is to check out the argument first. Based on the argument, we try to deduce the quotient, huh? Two pi over three, okay, right? Pi is hundred eighty, uh, So two pi over three is with hundred twenty degree, positive hundred twenty degree, huh? So therefore, you expect this one to be the second quotient. So here, please measure about 120 degree. After that, uh, say somewhere here is the Z. Uh, form the right angle triangle. So if this is 2 pi over 3, of course, this remaining sub uh, earlier, we call this as the alpha will be pi over 3 already. Huh? And then the, in front, the 6 is the, this, uh, what we call the modulus. Now, after that, actually, there are two things we need to do now. Okay, in fact, just now I mentioned this part, which we have uh, already done the first thing already. Huh? So, um, now, so first of all, this one, right? Um, this one, you can see, obviously, this one, the real part later should be negative. Image bar should be positive. So this one, I think, um, quite easy one, actually, we can settle first. So the real part in front, you put a negative first. Negative something, something, something. Huh? Then this one positive, then plus. Huh? Then I, then something, something, something. Uh. Okay, the side, okay. Uh. Then those something, something I mentioned basically is the length. Uh. This one, uh. this one obviously is 6 cosine power 3. Okay, right, your trigo. And then the vertical will be 6 side power 3. Like that. So there are two things we need to do. One is that to, to work out the sign, plus or minus. The other is to work out the, for this case, work out the angle. Uh. Like this. So far, okay, right, this step from here to here. If okay, actually the next step actually is just a special angle table, grab the value, then times the six, uh, the, the six can, can come in times the six. From there, then we simplify. Uh, 